Hello everyone. Let's see how we can build, train and deploy a machine learning model with Azure free account. So first and foremost thing, you need to go to azure.microsoft.com uh, in the machine learning and create your uh, particular free account here. So once you do that, you will get into a dashboard or a machine learning studio like this, which is ml.azure.com. And when you get into this studio, the first and the foremost thing is you need to create your workspace. So you need to click here on the create workspace button. Enter a workspace name, say demo, trial or something like that. And then you can select the region where your workspace will reside. So you can select, uh, you know, Australia East or East US, France, Japan West, etc. In my case, I'm selecting Central India. So you need to click on the create button here. So once you create your workspace, it will be something like this will be seen here in the studio directory. And then you need to click on your workspace. So once you click on your workspace, you get into the home dashboard here, right? And in order to build any model or consume any uh, model. So the first and the foremost thing is you need to specify the data that you need to train this model on. So on the left hand side, go to assets, then go to data. And here you need to upload your particular asset or data file. Okay. So in our example, I'm going to upload this particular training data set. This is something I have just created uh, randomly. So basically here we are going to look at a use case where a banking software or an application needs to decide whether it has to give the loan or refuse the loan. So in this particular data set, you can see that it is taking details like what is the current loan amount, the term of the loan, uh, the credit score, the home ownership, what is the reason, the annual income, the purpose, credit history, months since the last debit, and then current link balance, and then any sort of uh, bankruptcies that were there. So this is the data set I am uploading. So to upload a data set, you need to just say create and select the data set name, let's say banking loan data set. Okay, and you need to select the type here as tabular. And then let's say next. Now we are going to upload the file from a local file, since I already have this file on my local machine but you can also import it from an Azure store, SQL database, Azure open data set, etc. So let's click on from local files and then say next. And then here let's select the default uh, data store, which is Azure blob store and the workspace. And let's say next. So here we are going to upload the file. Make sure the file is a CSV or a TSV or has JSON line or plain text. So let's upload the CSV file. So now I uploaded the CSV file. I say next. And it now validates the file. So here is, you can automatically preview the file, whether it's uploaded correctly or not. Okay. Everything seems okay. Let's go ahead and say next. Here you can see the schema that, okay, my loan status type is a string. Uh, my loan amount is an integer, etc., etc. Uh, right. So you can see all of these fields here, right? So if you try to compare it with my data set here, you can see here, this is a string. This is an integer. This is a string again. And the similar things are automatically getting captured over here. So let's say next. Now we just review everything and then you can say, create. Okay. 
So uh, once you do, do and say create, it is automatically going to add that uh, data set for you. Okay, so I'm not uh, creating this file anymore. So I'll just say leave. So here, once you have created your data set, it will uh, reflect in the data assets. Okay, so once you have added your data asset, the next step is to add a compute. So go here into compute and you can create a compute cluster. So you can click on compute cluster. I've already created one cluster, but I'll show you how you can create your own cluster. So you can say new here. And then you can select the location where your compute cluster should reside. You can say virtual machine tire is dedicated. And your virtual machine type is CPU. And then here you can select the category and the machine size. Okay, once you're done, you can just simply click on next and then fill in the compute name, whatever name you want to give to this cluster. Demo uh, cluster. Right. Create all the default settings and then say create. Okay. I'm not going to create another cluster now, but once you create a cluster, you can see that it will reflect in the compute clusters here. So step one is done, which is we have added our data. Step two is done, which is we have added our compute cluster. Now let's go to step three, which is to automate the machine learning algorithm. So how do you create an automated ML? So just click on new automated ML job. Okay, give it a job name. See anything, uh, bank, loan, Status experiment can be the same thing, which is bank loan status experiment. Okay, so you have an experiment, and then within the experiment, you have this job which is bank loan status. So you give this setting details, you say next. Okay, now here you need to select the task type. So our task type is classification which is uh, specifically to say you know whether the loan status is given or the loan status is refused so there are various other task types as well so in our case we are going to select task type classification all right here we are going to then select the uploaded data file which is the loan processing data file and then say next and once you're done selecting the data, now you need to select the target column. So target column here is basically loan status because this is the target column we want from the ML algorithm, whether the loan has been refused or the loan has been given. Okay. So there is view featureization settings, right, which will give you all the columns that are added in the data set. And then you have view additional configuration settings here. So in our case, we would like to select the primary matrix as accuracy, right? You can select the primary matrix. There are various other ones here. So we want to be uh, very sure whether the loan is given or not. So hence we are selecting the uh, primary matrix here as accuracy. You can read more about this uh, using this particular link here. OK, so we change the primary matrix to this and our positive label class. So our positive label is when the loan is given, our positive label is it is a positive label basically. So we select loan given here as the positive label, right? The negative label will be loan refused. So we do this and we say save. Okay. Once you have added the view additional configuration setting here, you can click on next. You can select your compute type, which is specifically the compute that you created, which will be compute cluster. And then here you can see this particular compute cluster to be created. And then you can click on next and then you can submit your training job. Okay, 
So your, once you submit your training job, it will take a couple of minutes to skim through and you know decide the best suitable uh, ML model for you. Okay, so click on submit training job and uh, you know wait for a few seconds till all the uh, jobs are run and vetted. Okay, so I'm not creating this uh, right now, but you can always go ahead and try it. Okay, so I'm going back to an already created job. Once your job is completed, you will see the status as completed here. Okay. So you will have to wait till the status is marked as complete. All right. And then you can dive deeper into which model was the best suitable model or which algorithm was best suited. So in this case, you can go into the models plus child jobs tab. And here we can see that sparse normalizer algo and xboost classifier has got a really good accuracy for us and 100% sampling result. So let's go with this. Now in this particular algorithm, you can always test the model. You can uh, click on this particular thing, which is test model preview. And you can add your test data set here and test whether the model is uh, working as per your expectations or not. Okay. Once the model is tested, you can always view the test results here in the test results preview panel. So I have done one of the tests here, which is uh, showing me an accuracy of 0 0.99. And here you can see all the metrics and relevant details uh, related to that particular uh, test. Okay, how was the accuracy, uh, the correlations, etc. Okay, so once you have decided like which model best suits you, you can always convert it into a, a particular uh, and deploy it as an endpoint. Okay. So say I have selected this model to deploy. You can click on the deploy button here and say deploy it as a real time endpoint. Okay. So once you click on deploy as a real time endpoint, it is going to automatically deploy it. Okay. So here you can just select the endpoint name. You can say demo. Uh, bank status endpoint. Okay, uh, you can give some deployment name, and then you can just click on deploy option. Okay, I've already deployed one endpoint. Obviously, it'll take a little bit of a time to get it deployed, but you need to be patient and wait for it. So once you have deployed the endpoint, you can get into assets and endpoints here, and you will see the endpoint uh, getting deployed over here and created over here. So you can click on the endpoint and you need to wait for the deployment state to be healthy. Uh, this may take a minute or so. So you need to give it some time uh, for the deployment state of the endpoint to be healthy. So once this particular endpoint state is healthy, you can consume it and you can test it as well. So let's uh, test this, uh, you know, you can input any particular uh, parameter here uh, and then you can test this particular thing, right? So in the processing model, you can test your endpoint. You can simply say test and it's going to tell whether the loan is refused or the loan is given, right? You can also consume the endpoint here and simply copy uh, the Python code or the C sharp code etc. Uh, right. So I have copied this particular Python code already. So let me open Visual Studio here for you. Right. So I have consumed this particular uh, particular, uh, you know, Python code and then I have just changed the data over here to some uh, data set. Right. So this is 2149 long term 666 etc. And then I'm running this particular model and trying to see what the output is. So let's run this model, which is LLM1. And then here you can see as a result that the loan is refused, right? Now I have put and copied the same code to another model where I have changed the data, right? Which says short term 1771 and credit score, credit history, etc. And I'm going to run this again and see what it is giving, right? So here you can see that 
the result is loan is given, right? So this is how easy it is to deploy an LLM model and then consume it in your relevant applications. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you like this short demo.